In today's video, we're looking at how to add mods in your server within Venice Unleashed. This video is building off the back of a beginner's tutorial I did where I show you how to get a server and apply basic settings. So this is acting as more of an advanced guide and I'd recommend for those who haven't to watch the previous video before this one, a card will be above on your screen now. But for individuals that have watched my last video, they will be aware that I created this Word document to aid people in importing scripts. It has come to my attention that I made a mistake and in fact that speech marks that are used in Word are not compatible in FileZilla. The format of the speech marks just doesn't work for some reason. Thus, if you just copy and paste a script with the speech marks from Word, your server won't run. I apologize for this. However, I am learning as I go and hopefully you can understand that. I have now corrected that on the Word document and provided you guys with an explanation of when and how to use speech marks correctly when using script. But essentially, speech marks are used to create a single command when there are spaces within that command. For example, idle gaming with no spaces would count as a single command, so there's no need for speech marks. However, if I typed out idle gaming with a space, this would count as two separate commands in script unless speech marks were used which would then combine idle gaming even with a space into a single command when it was being read by script so again apologies for that but now that's out of the way let's crack on into how to mod your servers so we're going to approach installing three different mods in this video each with increasing complexity we won't be doing the map editor actually as i still think it's a work in progress as the developers have said however i will release another video on the specifics of how to use the map editor mod when the mod is fully functional so how to mod your server then so first you need to find mods uh, within the forums menu of venice unleashed now again everything i talk about will be in the description but essentially you'll get a whole list of mods that the community have put together on the vu forums now the first mod we're going to do is a very simple mod the nighttime mod where you can turn all the maps within the game to a night setting now the reason different mods have different complexities is some mods require other mods that you have to install into your server for that mod to run so they're building off other mods whereas this nighttime mod simply is one single mod that you have to install uh, on your server and it will turn all your maps into night maps so to download this you actually want to go to the github link you can download it but sometimes there's additional information such as other mods you may need on the github so it's important to quickly go to the github and see if there's any further information about the mod in this case it's just the files there's no text or other information that we need to uh, take into account so simply you'll go over to code you want to download it as a zip and there you go it's downloaded as a zip so once you've downloaded it as a zip you want to go over to your folders and go to your downloads now what's important is filezilla can't understand zip files so you're gonna have to extract the file this is really easy to do you'll simply right click on it extract all and I'm saving it to downloads. Simple as that, really easy to do. So now you don't need this anymore, you want to go over to FileZilla. Make sure again you've got your server connected, all of this as we discussed in the previous video. So, the first thing you need to understand is you need to put the mods into the mods folder. Pretty self-explanatory. So you go over to the mods folder. Now over here is basically your desktop, all your files. So I want to go to downloads. And you can see nighttime master is here as the folder not the zip i don't want the zip so i want to click on nighttime master and within nighttime master there's another nighttime master folder this is the one you want to so click and drag this over into your mods folder and you can see that is now transferred successfully you can see it's under the mods up here nighttime master so if you click on your mod, you'll get Nighttime Master, and then you'll get all this stuff within the uh, the Nighttime Master mod itself. But you really don't have to worry about that. That that is it at this point in time. Now, once you've installed this Nighttime Master mod, you notice the name Night with a dash, then Time with a dash, then Master. So what you want to do is then open up your mod list, view and edit. And type in the name of the folder exactly, including you know the correct capitals and stuff. So it was all lowercase. Typing this in now. Nighttime master. Make sure you save that. Boom. So on my map list at the moment, I have uh this map, which I can't actually recall what it was, but we'll we'll find out. Essentially, this is going to be a night map. Make sure 
you just quickly re restart your server so it comes up with the updated settings and as you can see as soon as it's loaded in you can see the nighttime tag but for your reference we will just load into the server and fish bash bosh nighttime mod on uh, epicenter so just before we move on to the second mod i've filmed this post-production but i realized that you can keep any mod you install within the mods folder you don't actually have to ever delete a mod within the mods folder and then simply you can always just use the mod list text to decide which mods you want in your server having tons of mods in the mods folder won't affect server speed like i thought it might so you literally once you've installed a mod just leave it in the mod folder and then when you want to activate a mod you can simply use the mod list text so the second mod we're doing is a VU Compass Master and like the last one it is simply just one mod. The only complication we're adding this time is that we're actually going to be doing some editing to the mod so we can have the compass on the top of the screen for example or the bottom along with some other features. So if you guys want to go ahead now and follow the previous steps and put the compass mod into the mod folder we'll pick things up from there. So to add complexity on what we've already done now we're going to edit the mod so we can move around where the compass is on the screen so in vu forums here for many of these mods it will give you exactly where you need to go to configure these mods for this example you need to go extent client config lure so simply all you want to do is go over to your mods click on there go over to extent client as it said and then config lure and then you view and edit so this is very self-explanatory you have position and indicator and then what's ever within the speech marks is what you're getting and then to the right of that is your options so you can have it on the bottom or you can have it as an arrow or needle so let's completely reverse what we had before so we're going to have bottom now and i'm going to have it as a needle Once you're in, as you can see, it's still compass. But if this has worked, theoretically, we should be seeing the compass at the bottom with a needle now. Deploy. And there you go. The compass is now at the bottom with a needle instead of an arrow. So the final mod we're going to do is infection. And the reason why this one is a little bit more complicated than the last is that you have to download a previous mod to get the mod to work. And there's also some prerequisites that you have to go through like you have to play on a specific map and a specific game mode for the infection mod to work but essentially it's the same thing now i did come across some issues with this one i've been preaching about going to the github as always as there might be additional information on there but i found when i was using the github infection link it just didn't seem to want to work i'm not sure if it was battle recorder that was out of date on there or whether it's infection or whether it's something at my end but i found for infection downloading the infection zip here and in addition going over to battle recorder and then instead of going over to the github just downloading it straight from the forums was the best course of action so inevitably there might be some things you have to play around with when you're adding these mods to your server but for the most part it's really simple but for some reason this one i had some trouble with Once you've extracted the files, you can simply go over to FileZilla, go into your downloads, make sure you take the folder within a folder, so you don't want the first one, put it into your mods folder. I don't know if the order matters, but I know that Infection is off the back of Battle Recorder, so I just like to drag in Battle Recorder first, followed by Infection, remember folder within a folder. Battle Recorder and Infection are now on the server. Also, what's crucially important, once you've loaded your mods onto your server, is to check if there's any other requirements as we pointed out it needs to be specifically on this map and this game mode so to get this map in this game mode you can simply copy and paste or you can find it on my word document that i made go to your map list and view and edit as you can see i've already put that in that's the map we've been playing on throughout this video and the last thing you need to do is make sure it's on your mod list so battle recorder infection word for word for the folder but i've already put that in so we're good to go so again simply restart your server press ok in some cases some of the mods won't have a tag that doesn't necessarily mean it hasn't worked make sure you join on the server to actually check if the mod has uh, uploaded to your server 
And as you can see, now we've loaded in, this is 100% infection for sure. All darked out. And obviously, if there was more players, then we would be uh, playing against some zombies. So again, with this mod, there's some tweaks you can do, like the minimum players and stuff like that. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I tried my best to not make any mistakes on this video, but I did have problems with the infection mod myself, so there may be a few things I don't understand, but I think bare bones, this is how you'll get mods. I'm still working on how to do the map editor, but I think I'm just going to wait a little bit longer, as I said, until that is kind of completed as a mod before I start trying to download it and uh, fiddle around with it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year, everybody. And uh, yeah, peace out.